I had my issues with the White House, but, but my decision to leave was, I mean, I stayed longer than I intended by a long shot. Um, when he and I, when President Obama and I first talked, uh, it was with, I put on the table, um, well, why don't we just say a year? And as I wrote in, in duty, I put a period on that sentence and he put a comma. Uh, and I stayed for a year and a half after that. And as, and as recently, uh, I mean, as, as close to my departure as maybe three or four weeks out, he said, are you sure you won't change your mind and stay? I'd like to have you stay through at least the end of the first term and as, for as long as I'm president, if you're willing. And, and, and I would, by that time, I'd done the job for four and a half years. That was longer than all but four of my predecessors. And, and I was exhausted. It had been four and a half years at, uh, at war, and I was ready to leave. Uh, in the four and a half years since I left, so I was there four and a half years, and the four and a half years since I left, as you point out, there have been three secretaries. One of the problems that I faced uh, and that I wrote about, uh, as did Leon and, and Chuck Hagel talked about is micromanagement from the White House. And, and I think that, you know, I think a good example, and I don't know this for a fact, but I'd be willing to wager that uh, I'm pretty close to being right. I think the White House was very much involved in the delays and in the handling of the freedom of navigation exercise in the South China Sea. We should have sent a ship into those waters long before we did. And I would bet anything that the White House said, here are the rules of engagement that made it look more like innocent passage rather than a freedom of navigation exercise. There was a direct line to a White House staffer when I visited um, a Special Operations Command Center in, in Afghanistan. There was a direct line to a White House staffer. And I stood there and I said, you rip that out while I'm standing here and watching. And, and I told our commanders, I said, if you get a call from a White House staffer or an NSC staffer, um, you tell them you're not authorized to take the call and refer them to my office and tell them I said to go to hell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I worked on the NSC under Henry Kissinger Spignev Brzezinski and Brent Scowcroft. And I will tell you that <clears throat> had I called a four-star commander as an NSC staffer, I'd have been gone the next day. I'd have been fired instantly. So this micromanagement is a problem. And I mean, my view, and frankly, one of the main lessons in the book is you have to choose your subordinates carefully, but then you have to empower them hold them accountable, and if they don't do the job, get rid of them. But for all, above all, you can't micromanage them. 